Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to give you the concept of HTML elements. Uh, before getting into what is HTML elements, let me just give you a quick recap of what is HTML. HTML is a hypertext markup language and it is used to create web pages and it is used to structure web pages and uh, which consists of series of elements. So what is meant by an element? Uh, HTML element tell browser how to display the content or how to structure the content on the browser. And uh, it is a component of the HTML document wherein the browser, uh, it tells the browser how to interpret the document. So what do HTML uh, element consists of? It consists of uh, uh, formatting uh, instructions, it consists of formatting instructions. formatting instructions and uh, semantic meaning headers paragraphs and it also includes embed content like hyperlinks text images etc okay so this is what the html element is defined on so let us try to look into uh, what it comprises of before understanding what html element consists of let us like try to understand what is meant by tag Okay, tags are like keywords, like we see keywords or the reserved words in uh, programming languages like if, else, for, and switch and all that, which are having some predefined meaning. So you cannot use those keywords for defining identifiers like names of the variables or names of the functions or the names of the classes. So tags are something like this in uh, HTML, which are like the keywords. Uh, so these tags will uh, have a special meaning uh, which defines uh, how the web browser will format and display the content. Uh, so how we need to distinguish tags from the normal content. Uh, say for example, I want to uh, put web technologies on the web browser and uh, to put this web technologies on the browser and to distinguish between this is the normal content, okay? So this is considered to be the simple content that I want to put on the browser. But uh, for example, say that there is a tag which is called as HTML. So there need to be some distinction or there need to be some difference between the simple content and then the HTML content. So uh, to have the distinction, uh, HTML tags are generally put in between the brackets, like angular brackets. So these are called as angular brackets. So this is uh, the less than and this is the greater than, which is considered to be tag. Okay, so we need to put the HTML uh, content inside this particular tag. So whenever your browser scans the HTML document from top to bottom, wherever it finds angular brackets, it considers the text inside it to be the tag. Okay, so whatever you put in between this angular brackets is considered to be a tag. So this is how tags are put in HTML. So just to distinguish between the simple text and the uh, HTML content. So for example, uh, so HTML, there are various tags. Uh, so HTML is a tag and uh, then you also have body tag. So whatever it is, like we'll be putting it in angular brackets. So I have head, head is a tag and uh, a title is a tag. So all these are considered to be tags. So now that we understood what is meant by a tag, let us now get back to HTML elements uh, element, what it comprises of. So HTML element com comprises of three things. The first thing is the tag, okay? Um, so which is also called as the start tag. And uh, the second thing that it consists of is the element uh, content, okay? And uh, then the third element that it consists of or the third part of uh, HTML element is the end tag. So for every open tag, say for example, I have given you an example of, uh, uh, let me give you an example of uh, uh, H1 tag. So H1 tag stands for, so what is the meaning of this is that it is the heading tag or the header tag uh, with the size uh, to be one. Okay, so one being the maximum size, one being the maximum size. You also have tags, uh, heading tags like H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, 
which like uh, H1 being the maximum size. And uh, the size of H1 tag is like uh, 32 points and uh, H2 tag being 26 points and so on. So it reduces. So I'm, uh, so I'm using this particular tag. Say, for example, I have a tag which is called as H1, H1 tag. So as I said, like each and every tag will be having its own predefined meaning. Uh, I explained to you like what is the meaning of this particular tag. So if I'm using H1 in my coding, it means that I want to make something to be a header and I want the size of that particular header to be 32 points. Okay, so that's the meaning of this and your browser will very happily interpret that. Okay, so because it already know because H1 is a, is a tag which is which means that it's a keyword and which is having some predefined meaning and your browser can understand it. Okay, so this is the starting tag and after that uh, I want to put the content which I want to make it as a header. So I want to make web technologies as the header. So I have put the content over here and after writing the content I need to close the tag. So I'm saying uh, I'm closing the tag. So you can see how this uh, closing tag or the end tag looks like. So the end tag looks like similar to the uh, start tag. Uh, but the only difference is like it consists of the forward slash. So in between the angular brackets, it will have the same name like your start tag. So H1 and H1 and all that. But only thing is like it will be having some forward slash over here, which represents that it is the end tag. So the start tag and then the content that you want to, however you want to represent it based on the meaning of the tag over here and then the end tag. All these three comprises of or you call that to be the element. Okay, so here this is H1 element. So here we are saying that this entire thing is the H1 element. So these are considered to be elements. So we will be having an angular bracket and uh, and we'll be having some element content and then finally there will be a closing tag. Now the point over here is do the tags need to be case sensitive? Like do they need to be uh, uppercase or lowercase? So HTML is not case sensitive. It is not case sensitive. So you can put capital H1 or uh, lowercase H1 both means the same. But that is not the case in the programming languages. If you are saying uh, no, if is different from capital IF. So they both are considered to be different things and all the keywords are in lowercase in uh, most of the programming languages. So, but here in HTML, like it is not case sensitive, you can have uppercase or you can also have lowercase. But I would recommend, okay, so my recommendation would be like you use lowercase for tags and attribute names as well uh, in HTML as a, uh, uh, this can make your document more uh, compliant uh, for the future upgrades. Okay, right. So that's the reason uh, why I recommend all of you to use lowercase for the tags and all that. Okay, right. So this comprises of your uh, element. Uh, so let me show you uh, this uh, in the uh, in the code and uh, we'll try to execute it. Before that, let us uh, uh, try to look into a few more points, which is like uh, uh, in the elements, like this is like uh, the solid element which is having like the start tag and the element content and the end tag. In the similar way, you also have some other uh, elements which are called as empty elements. Empty elements. Empty elements are also called as self-closing elements or they are also called as void elements. And because they do not have container, they are not container tags. Uh, what is meant by not container tags is that uh, they will not be having the, the element content. They won't be having the element content and they won't be having the end tag. Okay, so that's why I said like they are self-closing tag. Say for example, I'm having BR. Okay, so BR or HR, horizontal line and all that. Uh, so I'm giving you an example of BR. BR stands for break line. So if I want to put the text in the next line rather than continuing in the same line, I can put a BR tag. So BR tag is considered to be an empty tag, okay? So it is considered to be an empty element. Why it is considered to be an empty element is that there won't be element content. So it will not be having no element content. So it won't be having no element content. And also it won't be having any close tag. Okay, so no close tag as well. So because there is no element content and also no close tag, these are considered to be empty elements. Okay, right. So this is another concept. Example of empty elements are 
Uh, so one I gave you BR, another one is HR, and also you have. Uh, I'm just giving you some examples. I'm many. Okay, so image. Okay, so IMG. All these are considered to be empty tax. Examples of the solid tax are like uh, H1 is one of the examples. HTML, body tag. All these are examples of uh, solid tax. And uh, next comes the concept of uh, nesting of the tax. You can also nest the tax. Okay, so nesting of uh, elements. Nesting of elements. So what is nesting of the elements? Nesting of the elements means that you can have one element inside the other element. So say for example, I'm taking the paragraph tag. Uh, so P stands for paragraph, and I'm just writing this is a um, web technologies tutorial. So I just have to put this web technologies tutorial. Okay, right. So I am closing the tag. This is paragraph element. Okay, so I have a start tag over here, and then this is the element uh, content, and then I have a end tag. Okay, so all these three comprises of I'll say that this is the paragraph element. So now coming to the paragraph element. Uh, so say for example, in this particular paragraph element uh, content, uh, element content, I want to make this web technologies to be bold. Okay, so in the output when it uh, is uh, put on the browser, bold. Okay. So I want it to appear different from the other text, like this is tutorial and all that. I want it to look different. So now I can actually include another element here, which is the bold element. So inside the paragraph element, I'm including another element, which is called as bold element. So whatever text I want to appear bold, before that I'll be putting uh, the bold tag. Okay, so which is bold tag, which is like this. Okay, so B stands for bold, and I'm putting the bold tag. So after uh, so after this uh, wherever I just want to end it, so I'm putting a end tag or uh, end end bold tag over here. So you can see this is the nesting of elements. So you can see that this part over here, which started from here to here. So let me change the color so that you will understand it. So this part, okay. So this red part here, like this bold and web technologies and the closing tag. Over here, all this is inside the paragraph tag. Okay, so this is called as nesting of elements. So inside the paragraph element, I have put the bold element. So nesting of elements is also possible. So this is regarding the theory concept of HTML elements. Uh, let me give you a demonstration of all that I have told you right now. So I'm opening the Notepad. So inside the notepad, okay, document type is HTML. So I just have given that in HTML. Okay, so HTML, you can see that uh, for HTML, there is again associated closing tag here. So in between this, I am giving my other uh, content. So this in itself is one. This in itself, like HTML starting from here to here, and whatever comes in between is called as an element. Okay, so this is HTML element. Inside the HTML element, I'm giving the body element. So this is the body element. Okay, so this is the body element. If you are using more sophisticated uh, editors, uh, then automatically this will be aligned like this. But since this is Notepad, I, I'm aligning it this way. For us to better and un to understand like what is in between and all that. Okay, so in inside this body, so I'm giving the header. Okay, so I'm saying H1. So then I say web technologies. Okay, so then I'm closing this particular H1 tag. Okay, so very simple HTML code and whatever I want to display on the browser, I'll be giving it in the body tag. Okay, so whatever you want to appear. On the browser, you need to give it in the body tag, and you can see that. So let us try to understand this. Um, you can see that uh, HTML. This this entire part is nothing but your HTML element, and inside this there is a nesting of the body element, and inside the body element you can see that there is HTML. Okay, so this is how the structure of the HTML will look like. So there will be everything is considered to be elements. Okay, so now that we have written the code, 
Uh, so let me just save it. So I'm saving it on the desktop with .html. Okay, so I'm saying in .html. So I need to see that UTF-8 is there encoding scheme. So I just saved it. Uh, so as soon as I saved it, you can see like I have got it uh, over here on the desktop. Uh, so if I double click it, like it will be launched on the browser. Okay, so uh, you can see web technologies. And uh, this is uh, what your browser will understand. Okay, so what did I write in the code? I have written in the code that, uh, um, so whatever is there in the body, your browser will understand that you need to put it on the browser. And then um, uh, it need to put the web technologies in such a way, making it as the header and also making the size of the header to be H1. Uh, so let me make it six and show you. So I, I'm just trying to show you the difference between the uh, sizes. Okay, so I made it H6. Okay, so if I just refresh it, like you can see the output over here, like where the size of it is uh, very small. So as I said, like H1 is the maximum and H6 is, H6 is the minimum. Okay, let me show you the nesting of this particular element. So I'm taking off this H6 and I'm including a paragraph here. So I'm saying this is web technologies tutorial. Okay, so this is what I want to make this as a paragraph. So I just made this as a paragraph and I want to, this is a paragraph element. And I want to make this part, okay? So this web technologies part to be bold. So I want to include another element over here. Uh, so I'm including bold element here. And uh, so I need to, I want to end it over here. So I'm giving the closing tag here, closing mm -hmm. bold tag. So I just have put the closing bold tag. So you can see this entire part is the paragraph uh, element. And inside this, I'm having this bold uh, element. Okay, so this is what is called as nesting of the elements. So I'm saving this and uh, let me launch it on the browser. So you can see that this is Web Technologies tutorial. And you can see that Web Technologies is bold compared to the other text over here. So this is regarding the nesting of the elements. So this is all about uh, the elements. I hope everybody understood this concept. Thank you for watching.